A picture is worth a thousand words. By God, how right they are. My woman was mercilessly snatched a fortnight ago, and I've only just begun to unravel this case. Her low rolling artifices led to sleaze, sleep, and a slippery slope into the underworld of the city. I thought that was the last I'd seen of her. Until... My heavens, I never thought I'd see the day. These are all the biggest crooks, mad dogs, and wackadoos on the east and west side. The only ones bold enough to touch a my girl. Jimmy. Yes, Artie? How's the cola? Good, Artie. Good. In any case, Jimmy, I know the foul black cats who snatched my woman from me. Corduroy of Curtis Court and Brannigan of Brittle Avenue. Jimmy, do you know where my supply of rope is? Yes, sir. What did I say about calling me, sir? I want you to go to their houses and tie up their families and make sure to bring the special detective camera and on your way back here, get those photos developed. Yes, sir. What did I say about calling me, sir? The stage had been set, the trap planted, and I could practically feel my woman's embrace in my arms by the time I entered the room. Unhand her, you vile animal! Oh, Artie, you know it's not gonna be that easy. Don't make him angry. You keep your mouth shut. Untie her, I'll just show you what I have in store for you, for your family. How so? Might I interest you in these? Audie. Audie. <laughs> Audie, you fool! No, Audie, it's... Jimmy? A double cross. I should have known. Sorry, Artie, but I couldn't live off six dollars an hour being your junior detective. Jimmy, I don't believe you. You have to take it up with someone else, boss? No. Let's do something about those kneecaps. I just have to know one thing. Oh, Brannigan, Jimmy, why'd you do it to me? My girl. Oh, Adi, it's nothing personal. Actually, it is personal. Very personal. You see, the only reason the mob isn't roaming these streets is because of you, detective. Let's just say your methods are a little unorthodox. I'm a loose cannon, Brannigan. I won't apologize for that. And I'm not asking you, though. I just had to take matters into my own hands. And the boy? Yes, the boy. Let's just say blood runs thicker than cola. That's right. Bathe in disbelief, Artemis. It gives me life. Jimmy! Yes, brother? How's about me and you go down to the pop shop and get ourselves a couple drinks? Yes, brother. Say hi to the devil for me. I guess it's just you and me now, Amy. Don't speak like that, detective. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together sooner. I never gave him directions to those crooks' houses. This all could have been so painless if it, if it weren't for that meddling youngster. You could drop the act now. Are you certain of their departure? That may have been the best performance of your tenure, Mr. Westbrook. Oh, whatever you mean. Oh, gosh. So, what tricks do you have hidden up your sleeve this time? Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's uh, up my sleeve. You always come prepared. Elsewise, 
what makes it worth coming. Alright then, go ahead. They may be mobsters, but these crooks were certainly never sailors. And it shows. Hunters emerge on top once more. Don't jump the gun, eh? We're back to square one. The plan went off without a hitch. You're right, but now it's a matter of catching the crooked crew behind my capture. Uh, don't you worry about that, Amy. I have the perfect plan for it. And it starts at the pop shop. That's why I keep you around, woman. And this is why I stay. And so the old saying goes, none fooled, if not all. Had Amy and I not overturned every stone, drew every conclusion, you'd be dead on the spot. Good knees don't last forever, after all. As for the crooks, well, a kind heart never goes out last. And I'm not going out anytime soon, that's for sure. Not on my watch.